floating cities or cities with buildings that float on water. and how they might change things. The world's first model of a floating city that can for Saudi Arabia. Alexandros Antazis, a Greek architect, came up with the idea. He thought about the old supercontinent Pangaea and made the city turtle-shaped because turtles are known for being stable and living a long time. Turtles also show the connection between land and sea. Making Pangos was tough, especially figuring out how to make it float steadily and be good for the environment. But Alexandros and his team, including engineers, worked hard. They made sure Pangos could handle waves and storms. They also use materials and technologies that don't harm the environment. Pangos is big enough for 60,000 people. It will have 19 villas, 69 apartments, and 72 terraces with different views. This project is also a way to deal with rising sea levels because of climate change. It's still in the planning stage, but it's a cool idea for how people can live in the future. Pangos is a floating city that looks like a turtle and might be built near Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah port. This city 
will use clean energy, make fresh water, and grow its own food. It will connect to the land with bridges and boats. They are raising money for this $8 billion project through a special way called NFT crowdfunding, and they plan to open it in 2030. Pangos is a new idea in building and city planning that can be used anywhere in the world and still be good for the environment. Another big project is Oxion Neom, set to start in 2025. It's part of Saudi Arabia's big plan for 2030. Oxion Neom is a floating city that will be used for making things, moving goods, and producing energy. It will be in the Red Sea and is meant to be clean and use the latest technology. It will use clean energy and try not to harm the environment. Oxion will also create jobs and bring money to Saudi Arabia. Big companies like Bechtel, Air Products, Baker Hughes, and DHL are helping to build it. This city will provide homes for people too. Oxion Neom is a big floating city that will be near Saudi Arabia's coast in the Red Sea. It's designed for 90,000 people to live in and will create jobs for over 45,000 people. The city uses advanced technology and covers about 48 square kilometers and is up to seven kilometers wide in some parts. This project is really new and could change how we live and work. It's focused on being good for the environment and using the latest technology. Another big project is called Blue Estate. It's designed by an Italian architect, Giancarlo Zima, and is planned to be in the Caribbean Sea between the Bahamas and Miami. This floating city is meant to be finished in 2025 and can have nearly 10,000 people. Giancarlo Zima is known for making designs that are new and good for the environment. His design group, ZMA Design Group, works in Milan and Dubai. Blue Estate will be shaped like a hexagon and made of BM and ABB are helping with this project. Blue Estate is special because it uses